In this video, we will learn how using good consideration during modeling can lead to a good mesh after meshing the element, or the element shapes would be uh, looking better after meshing the solid model. So I'm using this circular support example with these dimensions. There are fillets here, here, and here. The radius of each fillet is 0.1 centimeter. And the dimensions are given here. So I have a hole of 0.25 centimeter in radius. There's a central hole with one centimeter radius. The total length or height of this support is 2.5 centimeters. And the height of this section, the bigger circle is uh, 0.9 centimeter. We're actually gonna model half of this uh, support, use half symmetry consideration and modeling and apply forces and boundary conditions to solve for this problem. But we also want to see how being considered in modeling can lead to a good mesh. So if I minimize this and go to my script that I have written for this. So I have a script which is annotated previously that I want to use for this example. So first I finish every stage or any stage of simulation that we've been and then we clear the database to start fresh. And then I have defined a parameter C for conversion from meter to centimeter or vice versa. On line seven using slash prep seven, I initiate pre-processing and I select element type 285, which is a solid structure or structural element type uh, lower order and by default it meshes in tetrahedral element shapes. And the reason I've picked that is that due to the complexity of my model and because I wasn't considerate while creating this solid model, this will not be able to lead to a hexagonal element shape after modeling. So I picked 285 to get to prevent degenerate element shape creation. We don't need a real constant here, and I've used uh, a typical material properties for steel, for Young's modulus, Poisson ratio, and coefficient of thermal expansion, so I don't think I need this for this analysis. And then I create key points. So using those key points, I create lines. So the first input of a key point is a reference number, which is totally up to me. So for the first two key points, I've given thousand one and thousand two, and that's the key point I want to use to rotate the base area to create my volume. So if I copy all these lines in here, I press yes. And if I look from top, I can see the key points that I create for me, key points 1001 and 1002 are going to define the axis about which I want to rotate the base area. And other key points are created based on the dimensions of my model that I will use to basically create lines and then areas to rotate about that axis. So if you take a look at in here, all of these values are determined by the dimensions of the model that we saw in the slide. So here I've used a bunch of line commands to create key lines between key points. If I just copy and paste in here. So as you can see, I have some lines created for me. I can come here and turn on the line numbers. Do L plot. So lines one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight lines that are created here. Then we create fillets, one in here, one in here, and one in there. So let's look at the first line fillet. So L F I L L T is short for line fillet between the line numbers. So between eight and seven, these two lines. And the radius of the fillet is 0.1 centimeter. And that C is used for conversion from meter to centimeter, or from centimeter to meter. So if I do this line for now, a fillet is created here. Then I can use the two other lines just to see the fillets between the other lines. 
So a fillet in here and a fillet in there. The fillets of my model are created. Then I want to create two additional lines. There and there. So I have three areas which I want to rotate about those central key points to rotate and uh, make the volume. So first I have to create an area. And we create three areas. The first area is going to be created between line key, uh, or lines 1, 2, 10, 12, and 13, which is 1, 2, 10, 12, and 13. The second area is going to create is going to be created by lines 6, 7, 8, 9, 13. So 6, 7, 8, 9, and 13. And the third area will be between or using lines 3, 4, 5, 11, 12. 3, 4, 5, 11, and 12. So if I copy those lines and paste them in here, see that the um, areas are created. Now here I'm uh, using LE size to divide some of the lines and I just copy them here. So the line divisions for these lines are made. And the other lines don't have a division because I want to use uh, key options or, or element size here. Now I want to create a volume by rotating this these areas about those key points that I created. So V rotate, if I just type it in here, takes up to six areas. So NA1, NA2, NA3, up to NA6. And then two key points, PAX1 and PAX2 as the axis of rotation. Arc is the angle and NSEG is how many segments I want to create uh, in my rotation. So if I go back to my script, I have three areas. So I give one, two, three, and I give three empty fields. And then the key points are thousand one and thousand two. I want to go for 90 degrees in the angle and one segment. So if I copy those lines and paste in here, and I want to turn off the numbering of lines. This is the base volume. Now I want to create a hole here. So I want to create a cylinder there and then subtract that volume from the base volume. So I create four key points and I start with line or key point numbers 2000. Again, that's arbitrary to me and the values are defined by the dimensions of the uh, circle or the cylinder. So if I copy them here and paste them here. If I do K plot, these are the K, uh, key points that are defined or created. Then I use arcs and a line. So those are the uh, arcs and the line created using those key points. And then I create an area and then extrude it. So if I do that and paste this in here, now I have a volume there. If I do EV plot, I see that there's a volume there. If I subtract that volume from this bigger volume, I can get that hole. But I need to know the volume number. So if I come to numbering of volumes, it doesn't show very well, but maybe I can do V cell S P to pick volumes. So this one is volume four and this one is volume three. If I okay that and do V list volumes three and four. So the fourth one is the one that I created afterwards. I can do all cell and here I've used V S B V which means V subtract V volume subtract volume. So subtract from volume three the volume four and v plot this is 
the, the, in it, the final volume. So I want to turn off the numbering of volumes. Now I want to mesh this model and basically I set the element type to 0.1 centimeters and then select the element type to 1, real constant to 1, material to 1 and vmesh which means mesh volume and if I do that and wait for a little bit see that this mesh is created for me which I'm not very particularly happy about it so if I zoom doesn't look like very good at the corners so because I wasn't very considered during modeling or creating the solid model for this example I didn't end up with a good uh, mesh so I want to practice a better modeling technique in the next video.